Okay, hello. So, a buddy of mine happened to have this big RV and it was sitting in his yard and see, it's big. And we're still going and still going and there you go. So sitting in his backyard and his girlfriend was hounding him to kind of get rid of it, I guess. And so he remembered I like doing little crafty DIY things and he was like, here, you can have it for free. And uh, so here we are. Um, this thing was trashed. As you can see, I kind of got a little bit of a start on it. Um, and I kind of got like a little setup going on with some tools and things, but, um, I mean, it was bad. There's signs of like illegal activities that were going on in here, uh, and he hadn't really touched it since somebody had given it to him, so we, I don't know where it came from, but I wasn't going to argue with Bree. So, um, and it's also winter, hence the get up here. Um, it was like 25 degrees outside yesterday in Washington and we were supposed to have like some record storm come through. There's supposed to be like 45 mile an hour winds tonight so it's a bit chilly. Um, anyways that explains the outfit. Um, so I kinda was watching some videos. I'm gonna be trying to remodel this place and it's all pretty much going to be done with the items that I've p kind of picked up and gathered over the last year or two. Um, I like to call myself a junker, but a lot of people don't like calling stuff junk that they find, I've noticed. So um, the items that I've collected have either been like left on the side of the road or gifted from friends. and. All the while I've been kind of collecting these things, I've been stashing them in this giant like 30 foot storage unit. Well, the storage unit is getting emptied now. And so I'm gonna try to utilize all of the stuff that I got practically for free. I did purchase some like tools and things here and there, you know, um, on sale or whatever, but um, yeah, I'm going to be trying to remodel this place as best I can, um, trying to do it for as free as possible. Uh, not taking into account time, if you count that as money. Um, but anyways, yeah, so to give you a, a little better kind of tour, this is like the kitchen. Um, I think these cabinets right here are probably the nicest thing that were in here. Um, there was a shit ton of stuff. There was like, it was, this place was packed, just full of like trash and grossness. And um, so they emptied out like most of it, but then they brought it here and there was still some stuff in it. Um, there's like a little bit of siding that they threw in here. What is that? Okay. And um, my mom came in here last night and set up some lights. That is gnarly though. Um, that must have been the old. Yeah, it's a, the old uh, air or heat or something like that. So yeah, there's some paneling and stuff that's right here behind me and um, like a little bit of insulation or styro styrofoam stuff. And I think there's also some items that like didn't even belong to this RV. I think I saw something that had Suburban title on it. Um, and so, yeah. Um, I was watching some videos on remodeling RVs and one of the first things that I saw was a huge problem, especially like uh, if you're um, RVing in the uh, the cold weather, is the insulation and trying to stay warm. And apparently these things suck for that, um, especially because there's like leaks. And as you can imagine in Washington, there are a lot of leaky things because it rains all the freaking time. I'm from Southern California. It blows up here. Well. For, I'm getting used to. I don't know, I've been here five years, I'm still getting used to it. So, anyways, um, so you can see, like, there's some, there was some leakage right here. That's gonna have to be redone. Um, and then there's, like, this really bad spot in the back right here. That thing looks like it's a nightmare. Um, 
and so yeah I got started um, and taped up this window last night but then it got too dark and scary and I wanted to go inside so because <laughs> I don't know about you, but I always feel like when there's windows that are wide open and I can't see out of them, I always feel like somebody's looking in, um, even if there's nobody there. But anyways, this bathroom, atrocious. I'm thinking, I'm probably just going to end up knocking out this whole thing. I'm going to find out if this is like for support or not and see if I can just knock it out. And if not, I'll probably turn it into a closet or something. Um, I'm kind of trying to like make it sort of like a livable slash kind of livable um obviously there's not gonna be a bathroom but um slash like office kind of to do crafty things and um so yeah that's that's pretty much my goal here but i've never really made a video before and i do a lot of crafty things and so i figured eh what the hell um might as well give it a go and see how much and if anything at the end of this you'll probably uh I could be your go-to guide on what not to do because I've never done this before. Um, and this is basically all going to be based off of uh, like Pinterest and YouTube. So we'll see how well I do with that. Um, I was going to try to like set up some sort of a camera rig and then like do like a fast forward thingy and that way I could just record the whole thing and that way any like stuff happens suddenly, the things that you wish that you had on tape kind of stuff, um, that's like good referencing points or whatever. Um, so I'll try to, I'll try to do that. And yeah, so I'm going to finish like gutting this and, um, I just wanted to give like a little intro on what I was doing. Um, and also I think this is a 35 foot and it's an Admiral monitor. And I'm pretty sure it's vintage because it's old as fuck, kind of like me. So, um, oh yeah, so also another thing that I started um, is I put like these little baking soda um, bowls around and uh, that's supposed to like absorb some moisture. I'm sure it's kind of like obsolete until I actually seal the place up, but eh, whatever. Baking soda is super cheap. And, um, and then I mixed um, some peppermint with it, and that's supposed to get rid of like any little buggies or unwelcome rodents that may have been in here. I haven't really seen too many signs of that, thank God, uh, but you never know. Um, this shelf also, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but like there's a board and like a bar holding that stable, I guess. So. Just to give you an idea of some of the things that I'll have to be kind of redoing here. And I was considering joining the Carpenters Union, so this should be a good uh, practice point, I guess, for that. Um, so, anyways, um, and if anybody has any pointers, God, please give them to me because I'm going to need them, most likely. Um, but yeah, so the walls... I probably am going, once I get like everything swept out and all of the stuff that's loose and, and junky kind of gets taken out and swept out, um, then I'll obviously just do like a quick vacuum through to get through the cracks and crevasses and then, um, yeah, uh, I'll probably start tearing down walls then at that point and then I'll, I'm, I'm a cleaner, so I'll be cleaning, tr or trying to, in between, like, each kind of stage of this. So if you see me, like, OCDing about something that you've seen before, like, cleaning, uh, you know, feel free to fast forward. Um, I've heard, too, for, like, mold and, and mildew stuff, um, to, s like, mix a combination of vinegar and water and some other stuff. Um, so I did that, but I just put straight vinegar in a spray bottle and I sprayed like pretty much the entire roof last night or the ceiling, I should say, um, because outside, and I'm sure you'll see this at some point later, but the roof on top, I don't know the condition that it's in, uh, because when he brought it here, there was a bunch of like, I think they're four by fours or there's some kind of huge wooden beam up there that's holding down several tarps. So 
and there's several beams like they go down the 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 top so if that makes sense um but anyways yeah i just uh i've been kind of dreading opening the fridge you're gonna see that somebody told me that the door comes off with the <laughs> when you try to open it and i haven't tried it since i think I don't know if it goes on this side or not. Oh, yep, it's on the other side. Okay. So, this is the fridge. Oh, would you look at that? That's, that's fancy. It folds out. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well, so, that's a first little peek, I guess, here, uh, into what this is kind of going to be like. Uh, oh my gosh. This sucks with one hand. Okay, you know what? We're just going to leave that down. So, if anybody knows anything about Admiral Monitor RVs or vintage crappy things <laughs> that uh, they want to throw in, all is welcome. Love constructive criticism. Appreciate it. Okay, well, hopefully uh, we'll have fun and you won't see me do too many stupid things. <laughs> Which probably will, because I do a lot of those. So, alright, happy watching.